Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got the last episode in the Five Years On series. Today, we're taking a look at the League Un, the Bundesliga, and most importantly, the Premier League. We're going to be having a look at who's been winning those leagues, any notable transfers that have been happening, and all that interesting stuff. Oh, and as well as that, we do look at the World Cups and the Euro Cups as well. So a whole lot of interesting stuff for you to see in today's video. As I've said in all the other intros in this series, I recorded this as one long video but decided to chop it up. So it, that's why if the intro and the outro is a little bit weird, that's why. Just please just try and live with it. Should be alright. And so, yep, let's go and crack on and go over to past bad jokes for the start of this video. And now, the three big leagues. The three, three big leagues. Let's go Bundesliga. Let's see who's been winning this. I'm going to predict again. Bayern Munich have won it every season. And once again, my prediction is absolutely wrong. Borussia Dortmund have won it in the first season. Five points away from Bayern Munich. And then second season, Munich have won it back by four points there away from Dortmund. Season 3, Munich win it by 5 points from Leverkusen this time. And my old German team, Borussia Mönchengladbach, I had a very good season or two. Two FMs back on a journeyman. I had a very good season or two there with them. Really enjoyed managing Mönchengladbach. And so after that one, season, what's that, 4? Bayern Munich have won it again. This time by only a point from Red Bull Leipzig. And then season just finished. Munich have won it by 13 points this time. Away from Salka, Leipzig in third. Dortmund in fourth. And so some very good seasons there for Bayern Munich. Let's have a quick look. See who is in their squad. And so their highest valued player is Serge Gnabry. They've got Phil Foden as well. We'll have a look at Gnabry, and then we'll have a look at Phil Foden. And so he has been there this whole save. He has had a 7.1 season, 7.2, 7.0, 7.0, and, and then a rather disappointing 6.9. Not quite sure why he's their most valued player. He's not exactly been scoring that much, and he's not been exactly setting the world alight either. So that's a bit of a weird one. And so, I want to have a look at Phil Foden. And then, Diogo Jota. That's not the one who's at Brentford, is it? That's the one who's at Wolves. Yeah, that's the one who's at Wolves. And so, let's have a look at him while we're here. 7.47 average rating in his first season for Munich. 7.2. And then a 7.45 with 13 goals in his last season. So, he is doing very, very well for them. And then Phil Foden, and then we'll go and move on to the next league. And so Phil Foden, 24 years old. When did he leave Man City and how much for? He left Man City just this summer. And and Munich only paid £26.5 million for him. So that's not too bad. How's he done for City? 6.84 season, 7.22 6.88, 6.84 and a 6.83. So he's never really been a goal scoring midfielder. He's also not really been that much of an assist maker either. Apart from maybe that season there, 21 to 22. You would maybe think for somebody like Phil Foden, he might be making more assists. But that might just be me setting, setting overly high expectations for him. And so, let's go back to France this time. Surely this time my prediction is going to be right. And PSG have won it every single year. And so, season one, PSG have won it indeed that season by 11 points from Lyon. Season two, an even bigger gap. What's that? 88, 89, 
70, 71, so 10. So that's what, 13 points. They have won it by there. So a huge gap. And then season three, yep, they've won it by 15 points. That season away from Marseille. Season four, PSG have again won it by 13 points. And then this season just gone, hallelujah, hallelujah. I've finally got a prediction right in this video. And to absolutely nobody's surprise, they have indeed bossed the league every single season. And they've got Van Dijk. Oh, surely he can't have been cheap. Look at these technicals. Some very, very good technicals there. And some awesome mentals. And then £111 million. Surely that's made him the most expensive defender ever. And so have a look at these ratings. As much as £111 million is never the right value for anybody. And football has gone mad. You can't really argue with the performances they've been getting out of him. 7.55... 7.3, 7.4, and this season just gone 7.6. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. And let's have a look at Mbappe. How has he been getting on? He's been doing... Uh, he, his attributes look good. And wowzers. 22 goals, 24, 23, 26, and 24 goals. These last two seasons, he's got 8.08 .08 ratings for this season. That is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Wowzers. And so, where is Neymar? Is he still at PSG? He is. And so, how's Neymar? Wow. Those technicals. One day, we will get Kings Lynn to have a player like this. I can only dream. And so, how has he been getting on? 12 goals, 20 goals, 14, 13, 12. 7.60 last season, 7.79 a couple seasons ago. And so, yeah, he is 32 years old, but he is still an absolute boss. And now anybody else I want to have a look at here. Harry Kane. What a team this PSG team have got. Wow. 137 million they paid for him. Let's get back on his screen. And they've got Vinicius Jr. as well. Jesus. 21 goals for Paris Saint-Germain there. Then 16, and then only 12 last season. But he's still got a 7.7 .7 rating. What a dream team PSG are acquiring over here. And so Vinicius Jr., and then we'll move on to the one everyone wants to see. The Premier League. And so Vinicius Jr., 24 years old. 105 million Chelsea paid for him. To, to get to get him from Real Madrid. And he's played two seasons there. And he's only just joined Paris Saint-Germain. And so he's had two decent years there. To seven goals, four assists, four man of matches. And then last and then his last season there. Seven goals, five assists, two man of matches. So what a team PSG have got. And now yeah, let's go and have a look at the Premier League. This current season, IRL, FM predicts that Liverpool are going to win it. As I'm sure we all know, in real life, Liverpool are going to win it. But they've won it in FM. This time by only 7 points. Not the 558 million points they're winning it by in real life. But they've won it by 4 points there. My team, West Ham, finishing 11th. Chelsea in 5th, Norwich in 6th, that's a little bit of a surprise, uh, Tottenham down in 8th, and unfortunately, if you're a fan of Watford, Brighton or Southampton, it's not going to be your year, FM thinks all you three are going to go down, and so, Season 2, Man City won it this time, by only one point from Arsenal, 
United finishing third, Liverpool finishing fourth, Chelsea and Tottenham making up fifth and sixth. So more of a established uh, top six there. More of the top six you might expect. My club, West Ham, once again in 12th. Leeds have got themselves promoted and they finished 15th. Sheffield United, Burnley and Palace getting themselves relegated there. Season 3, Liverpool have won it again by a huge gap there. 16 points between them and Man City. Arsenal again though finishing third. United finishing fourth. And West Ham, we finished 14th. And Leeds, unfortunately, finishing bottom there, just behind Stoke and Southampton, who have gone down to the Championship. And then, fourth season in, Man United finally winning the league once more. They have won it by two points from City and three points away from Liverpool. Chelsea and Arsenal making up fourth and fifth. Another season of mid-season mediocrity for West Ham. And then Leicester getting relegated. Oh, Premier League winners getting relegated. Only the second Premier League winners to get relegated after Blackburn back in the mid-90s. And so, yeah, that's, that's quite a surprising thing there. Leicester getting relegated. And then this season just gone. Liverpool have won it by one point from Man City. United in third. Arsenal in fourth. Us in tenth. I think that's the highest we've been. And then Newcastle going down. I've got a bit of a soft spot for Newcastle. So to see them get relegated does make me a little bit sad. Bristol City have come up and finished 16th. West Brom are back and they've finished 13th. Okay, so let's have a look at Liverpool. And let's see, is Jurgen Klopp still their manager? Yes, he is. Oh, okay. And let's go into the senior squad. And their most expensive player is Lotaro Martinez. And he's a 26-year-old Argentinian striker. How long has he been at Liverpool? Since 1920. The 1920 season, not 1920. That make him rather old. And so, he's had some very good seasons. 7 goals, 14, 19, 14 and 17. So, some very, very good seasons there for him. Is Salah still there? Yes, he is. Salah has got to be a Liverpool legend at this point. And he is still banging in the goals. 15, 14, 13, 20, 15. What a god he is. And uh, Let's have a look at, at the top four and West Ham. And then we'll go have a look at the international competitions and call it a day there. So, Man City. Pep Guardiola is still there as well. Wowzers. Was not expecting that at all. And so they've got Silva, De Jong, Moyes, Keane. Let's have a look at Moyes, Keane. I do like him. I've got an offline Everton save. And he's doing very well for me on there. 106 million. Man City have paid Barcelona for him. Almost doubling the money Barcelona paid Everton for him. Why they paid so much, I don't know. He only scored five goals last season. Little bit of a surprise there. And so, anybody else you want to have a look at? Matthias De Ligt. Matthias De Ligt, I love him. I think he's a very, very good defender. I think he's next in line to take over from Van Dijk as the world's best defender. And so, Man City have paid £64 million for him. And they've got a 7.3 season out of him. So, very, very happy with that. And uh, who else have they got? Sterling. How's Sterling been doing? Sterling has been doing rather well. 7.5, 7.31, 7.42, 7.69 and 7.4. He's not exactly been scoring loads and loads of goals. But he's definitely been contributing in other ways to be getting average ratings like that. And so any more here I want to have a look at? 
Uh, Neves. Let's have a look at Neves. And uh, Man City paid 64 million for him, and they've got a 7.08 rating out of him for this season just gone. And so, you know what? Let's have a very quick look at Manu because I've been talking for 45 minutes now. I'm so sorry this has taken so long. How is Solsa still there? Has there been like a sacking ban or something in the Premier League? Because that's quite mad how Solsa is still there. But also, not much change in the team. De Gea is still there. Maguire is still there. Rashford's still there. And let's have a look at this Grayson Connor fella. Uh, 15 years old. He could be alright. Can't really see too many of his attributes there. But if he's their hot prospect, he'll be one I'll be keeping an eye on. And so, Thomas Lamar they've got. Thomas Lamar, let's have a look at him. He has been at United for quite a while. And they paid £150 million. <laughs> What a lot of money that is. And they've got a 7.44, 7.1, 7.4 and 7.19 seasons out of him. So he's been doing okay, but not quite £150 million worth. I would suggest. And uh, Marcus Rashford, how's he been getting on? Again, not not setting the world completely alight. 12 goals, 15, 8 and 11. For a man new striker, I think you would want at least 20 goals a season. And oh, they've got Deli Alley. Let's have a look at Deli Alley. 78 million they paid for him. They've got a 7.35 and a 7.44. And so, it's two decent seasons out of him there. And let's have a look at Bruno Fernandes. I did just see him. This was before the, um, the transfer update, obviously. So, it's quite weird how United have gone for him in the game as well. They paid 48 million in the game, which I think is less than they paid for him in real life. And yep, 6.96, 6.91 and 7.25. And so you know what? Let's have a look at West Ham very, very quickly because this video is getting way too long. So Issa Diop is still at our club. And so we've got Dolberg. We've got Casper Dolberg. Awesome. I love Casper Dolberg. Can't remember when I had him. I had him at some point, either last season or in my Everton save at the start of FM20. Again, that I was playing offline. And so, he's been doing okay. 13 goals for us, 11 and then 6. And then anybody else we've got who's interesting. Uh, Felipe Anderson, how's he been getting on? Uh, he's been getting on 6.8, 7.4. Average, not exactly brilliant. And anybody else we've got who is interesting. Uh, Will Hughes, old FM Wonder Kid. Uh, 6.69, 6.93 for us. So yeah, he's doing okay. But again, not exactly setting the world alight. He's been very average, just like the rest of the squad. And so Christopher Ayer, let's have a look at him. We have had him... Since 2021, he's got a 7.13 season, 7.09, 6.92, and 7.05. And so let's have a look at the let's have a look at the World Cup. Let's see who won that last time. Portugal. Okay. Uh, stages. Where could I see? Uh, where can stages? There we go. Come on back. There we go, and let's go final. Who did they beat in the final? They beat Belgium. Oh, and then semi-final. How did England get on? Didn't get there. Italy and Brazil losing in the semis. Quarter-final, England lost to Portugal. So yet another quarter-final exit. But let's have a look at the Euros. And, oh, have a look at that. Football has come home. We have beaten Spain in the UEFA European Championship 2024. 
Let's have a look at the rest, see if there was any other interesting stories. Quarter-final. Uh, Scotland getting to the quarter-finals there and losing to Portugal. And second round, how did Wales get on? Wales lost to Scotland. Oh, what a game that would be to watch. I live in Wales, so I can imagine a lot of people would not be happy around here if we lost to Scotland. And so... You know what, let's have a look at the other Euros just before we go. Then I will finally let you boys and girls go. As all, oh, I, know, I, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to blooming click on that. But best player in Europe has been won by Ronaldo, then Lewandowski for a couple of years, and then Kylian Mbappe. And now let's go on what I was meaning to click on. Your A for European Championship, and then go stages... And in 2020, Spain won it. Spain won it that year. And quarter-final, where did England get to that time? Uh, second round, absolutely no, nowhere from what I can see. Did, did, did they get knocked out in the groups? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They lost to Serbia there. And so, is Southgate still England manager? No, he's not. It's Chris Wilder, the man who's doing absolute bits with Sheffield United at the minute. And so, you know what? As Jeremy Clarkson used to say, and on that bombshell. And so, yep, guys, that is where we're going to leave it. Do all the usual. Pop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more content. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. Follow the passion for FM lads. All the details down below. Check out the Twitter, the website, the Discord, the Facebook for Passion for FM. Check all that good stuff out. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope you've enjoyed that series. Sorry it's been a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but I thought it better to do it as a series than rather than doing it as one hour-long video. So, yep, hope you've enjoyed all that good stuff. I'll be back with you tomorrow for the start of a brand new season with Kings Lynn in the Walks to Prem save. It's going to be our first ever game as a professional club in League 2. I cannot wait for it. So I shall see you tomorrow for that. Bye.